What's up, everybody? So a quick morning update. Uh, market opens in half an hour just on First Republic. Many of you probably already know, but I'm just going to reiterate a couple of things to some of you who may be still questioning um, validity or truth. So here's the stock. Whoever pumped in this morning, you made a mistake. Uh, so JPM has its own legacy, its own brand, right? It doesn't need FRC's brand, and it certainly doesn't want it. It's considered toxic. Um, you know, it'd be like it'd be like a, a friend that you were you were friends with for a long time, and then you realize you know they're a junkie, or they're just they're not good for you. They're not good for your life, and you cut ties with them. They'll be cutting ties with this name. This will become FRCQ. Uh, almost assuredly, uh, on top of that, you have uh, in the actual news, okay, it, it says that JPM is assuming, is only taking their assets and their liabilities. It's not assuming any of the debt. JPM, in their own press statement, said that they're not assuming the corporate debt or preferred stock. Why would they? The stock is a liability. It's not an asset at this point. Um, this is my impression of the Fed and of the U.S. government and everyone in business as it pertains to the debts and the liabilities that are being somehow go into thin air and get vanished, evaporated. Oh, first, sorry, first who? Republic? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with, nope, never heard of them. Nope, nope. Um, because it's like, how can you, how, how can you retain only the good bits of the company, and just magically poof, all of the negative bad stuff goes away? Like it's it's like they're doing selective bankruptcy, guys. Uh, it's it almost feels impossible. If you were to, if they were to say claim bankruptcy, let's say they would have to say it. they would they would do the bankruptcy. Uh, individual or business would go okay well what are your assets what are your liabilities okay <laughs> uh and then and then they would say okay well this is what you have to actually pay because this is all you get to keep and then you know it would dis dissolve from there pretty much in this scenario they're just taking all the assets first and then they're going okay well now we want to now we want to claim bankruptcy <laughs> like, leaving i don't know where this burden goes let's say let's just put it that way i don't know where the burden falls uh, in this so so that's really the only unknown here is where does the burden fall but uh you've got banks abs just absolutely pumping bank of america is up a percent and this that's a lot for these banks okay in in to such uncertainty wells fargo's up a percent and a half jpm is up four and a half percent Right. You know, I mean, they just acquired a bunch of free money. Uh, I almost feel like that's not even enough. This is their 52 week high. Uh, they've, they've done nothing but go up. OK. Um, for 52 weeks. Is it their all time high? No, but it's leaps and bounds away from their low. Uh, we still got news from the Fed coming in. Um, let me just pull up this economic calendar for you guys. So what do we have for the week? So today we have some manufacturing data that came out about an hour ago. Uh, tomorrow we have jolts. Wednesday we have uh, ISM services. The, the ones winning the red are the most important. And then interest rate decisions. So Wednesday is the big day. Hump day is the big day. I think we're going to, frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if we just see some sideways action here for uh the next two days uh, on the market as you know as a whole as you can see you know we've got I believe this is the spy yeah the, the russell 1000 123 up 130 down uh, of the majority of the movers s p 500 85 up 87 down it's literally split right split right down the middle so not really myself not really looking to make any big moves one way or the other but i did want to give an update on that looks like we've got pac west um they're feeling a bit confident over there 
it's it's now moving up it was down it was down five percent uh less than an hour ago and now it's up two and a half percent so really gonna have to take a look at carefully watch the at all of the banking sector right now um just to kind of see what what might reveal to be maybe the possibly the next bank that this could happen to uh as we move towards a centralized government crypto deposit uh so government crypto you're going to see less and less of these regionals simply because it's how, how do you regulate 4000 banks when you could try to regulate 10 right and you want all that power if you're if you're government and if you're big big business you want all the power in just a couple companies you don't want any competition uh, the illusion of choice without actually having any right if you take 4000 banks and you put them into 10 what's really the choice there you don't really they, they they're all going to be everything is going to be the same you're going to be offered the same everything from everyone with just under a different name you know red and blue red and blue there's no difference so let's see what happens today guys great